Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered the getting started guide for Luxfox Lyra plus Linux micro development board. And we have covered that how you can flash build root operating system on SD card and how you can do the complete setup with SSH access. Okay. Now in this video, we are going to cover the same. We are going to cover the getting started guide for Luxfox Lyra plus board. But instead of flashing build root operating system on NAND storage or SD card, we are going to flash Ubuntu operating system on the SD card. Okay. And then after we will cover the complete setup along with SSH access. So let's see how you can do that. Now here on the camera, you can see I have my Luxfox Lyra plus board. Here is my memory card reader along with 64 GB of memory card. I'm going to plug this in my system and we'll flash the Ubuntu operating system and we'll plug this SD card again in the Luxfox Lyra Plus board and we'll access the terminal of Luxfox Lyra Plus board in our Windows 11. Now I'm going to plug this uh, to my system. Okay, and we will open the SD card formatter tool to format the SD card. Okay, SD card is not visible here. So let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, SD card is now visible. Now, here in the SD card formatter tool, you have to select your SD card drive and then you have to click on format. Okay, our SD card is now formatted. Now, um, in the previous video, we have covered that if you want to flash the operating system on the SD card, then you have to use SD disk tool. And if you want to flash the operating system on the NAND storage, then you have to use RK Dave tool. Okay. Now again, in this video, we are going to flash Ubuntu operating system on the SD card. So again, we have to use SD disk tool here. Okay. And if your system doesn't have the proper driver, then you can download this driver assistant tool and you can install the necessary driver. And if you want to download the Ubuntu operating system for Luxfox Lyra plus board, then here is the link. Okay. Now here you can see Luxfox Lyra plus Ubuntu micro SD card image and Luxfox Lyra Ubuntu micro SD card image. So if you have plus, then you can go for this operating system. If you have only Luxfox Lyra, then you can go for this one. Here we have Luxfox Lyra Plus. So I'm going with the Luxfox Lyra Plus Ubuntu operating system. Now I'll open the SD disk tool in my system. So Luxfox software, SD disk tool and SD firmware tool.exe. Now here you have to select your SD card and we want to flash the operating system on the SD card and we want to boot the operating system from the SD card. So you have to select SD boot. Then after we have to select firmware. So I can click on the firmware and we want to flash the Ubuntu operating system. So I can go to the Ubuntu folder and here you can see Luxfox Lyra plus Ubuntu micro SD card image. So I'm going to open this folder and here you have to select this update dot image file okay so we'll click on the open okay we have selected update dot image so that's fine and all you have to do is just click on the create button okay now it will write the entire operating system files on our sd card and once it is complete you will have one pop-up on your screen okay then after we can remove the sd card and we can plug the sd card in our luxfox lyra board and we can complete the rest of the setup Okay, here you can see the message creating upgrade disk. Okay, means our operating system has been successfully flashed on our SD card. Now I can press OK. I can close this SD disk tool and we can remove the SD card from our system. Okay, now I can plug the SD card here in the SD card mount bracket. Okay, so I have plugged the SD card here. Now we'll connect this board with our system. Now here you can see the LED is flashing user LED. It means that our operating system is getting booted. 
Once it will boot successfully, you will hear beep sound in your system. Also, you can verify that your operating system is successfully booted or not using view network connection. So you have to go to the search menu. You have to search for view network connection. And uh, once your operating system of Luxfox Lyra board is successfully booted, you will see this Ethernet adapter here, which is USB Ethernet adapter connected with your Luxfox Lyra board. And here you can see the name remote NDI space internet sharing device. Okay. Now we have flashed the Ubuntu operating system. So what is the default IP for Luxfox Lyra board for Ubuntu operating system? So this is the default IP address of USB C interface. Okay. Because we have connected USB C with our system. So we can access this board using USB C and the SSH. So I'm going to ping the IP address. Okay. Which is default IP address of USB C interface. And here you can see I am getting successful ping. So it means that my system is in the network with Luxfox Lyra board. Now, if your system is not in the network with Luxfox Lyra board, then you have to go to the view network connection. You have to right click on this remote NDIS based internet sharing device. You have to go to the properties. You have to double click on TCP IP version four. And here you have to select use the following IP address option. And here you have to provide this IP address. Okay. You can change the last two digit. Okay. But don't keep hundred in the last three digit. Okay. I mean, instead of 23, don't keep hundred. If you keep hundred, then you won't be able to communicate with Luxbox Lyra board because that's the default IP of this board. So you have to use any other IP address apart from hundred. Then after you can press on tab, it will automatically capture the subnet mask. And then after you can press, okay. Yes okay and that's it now you can again try to ping okay so here again we are able to get the ping so we are again in the network of luckfox lyra board now what i'm going to do is now i'm going to log into the terminal of luckfox lyra board using ssh so we know that windows command prompt support ssh so i will directly use this command to log into the SSH terminal of my Luxfox Lyra board running Ubuntu operating system. Now, if you are running build root operating system, then the default username is root. And if you are running Ubuntu operating system, then the default username is Lyra. So I can copy this command. I can paste that command, hit enter. Okay. Now we have to delete the SSH entries because I have connected with this board using the same IP address previously. So here I have provided one command to clear the SSH entries. So that's it. I can try again to connect and yes. And what is the default password of my Luxfox Lyra plus board when I have flashed the Ubuntu operating system. So it's again Luxfox. So I can copy this, paste it here and hit enter. Now here you can see Luxfox. Welcome to Ubuntu 22.04.5 LTS. Okay, so we have successfully logged in to the terminal of our Luxfox Lyra plus board running Ubuntu operating system inside the SD card. Now you can run few commands, okay, like ls cpu to capture the CPU detail. Now here you can see we have triple core CPU. Okay, so that's why the CPUs are three. And if you want to check more detail about the CPU, then here I have provided one command which you can use. Okay, so let me copy this command, paste it here and hit enter. So this is the detail of your all of the three core. Now we will check for the free memory. So free hyphen H. Okay, so total 10 MB is free. Okay, because we have only 128 MB, I guess, in this board. Okay, so that much is free and swap memory is 1 GB, swap memory is 1 GB and entirely it's free. Now let's check for the disk. So df th. Okay, so here is our 64 GB of SD card, okay, which is mounted at which location and what is the size of that mount point that you can find it here. Now let's check the available blocks in this uh, Luxfox Lyra board. So ls block. And here you can see now this is the block is our SD card, which is 64 GB. And this is the block 
which is our NAND storage, okay, which is having 256 MB of space and which is in the back side of this Luxfox Lyra Plus board. So that is also visible here. Okay, so that's it. So this is how you can uh, getting start with the Luxfox Lyra board and that's how you can flash the Ubuntu operating system on the SD card for your Luxfox Lyra Plus Linux micro development board. You can open the view network connection and you can complete your network setting and then after you can do the SSH access for your Luxfox Lyra Plus board. Okay, for the SSH access, here I have provided the command on our GitHub repository. This is the default username, this is the password, this is the default IP of USB-C interface when you are running Ubuntu operating system and this is the SSH login command. If you want to visit this GitHub uh, page then here I have provided the link so all you have to do is just open that in the new tab and you will be uh, navigated to that same page. Okay, so I hope this is clear. Now let's check that Python is installed or not. So yeah, Python 3 is installed and let's check the periphery library is installed or not. So yeah, periphery library is also installed and uh, using that we can control our GPIO. We can also, you know, use PWM and everything. So it is uh, by default installed. So we don't have to copy paste from Windows and yeah, we can remove that part. So this is good. So I hope everything is clear and if you still have any question or any doubt in this then you can always ping me on telegram, instagram, whatsapp, anywhere. Otherwise we'll meet you in the future videos with more tutorial on Luxfox Lyra Plus board. Till then take care, goodbye and thank you.